I think we're quite close to digital super intelligence. It, it may happen this year, and if it doesn't happen this year, next year for sure. The digital super intelligence defined as smarter than any human at anything. <coughs> Nothing to see here, just the CEO of NVIDIA, a three-plus trillion-dollar company, thanks to the insatiable demand the world currently has, and no doubt will indefinitely, for AI training compute that NVIDIA just so happens to produce at mass scale. A three-plus trillion-dollar company on the back of crazy demand for AI training. But as I've said in the past, it ain't the AI hardware, the training where the real money is to be made, but the AI applications that require the hardware to train in the first place. So let's see what this guy who probably doesn't know a whole lot about AI <clears throat> has to say about Tesla and their AI projects. Elon's, uh, as you know, is just an extraordinary engineer, um, and I love working with him. Uh, we've built some amazing computers together. We're going to build many more computers together. And, and uh, uh, the work that he's doing in Grok, uh, his uh, self-driving car, uh, um, his uh, Optimus, uh, these, are, these are all, every single one of them, world class. Every single one of them, revolutionary. So who's keeping score at home here? Specifically relating to Tesla, since most of you are Tesla investors. Self-driving, world class. Optimus, world class. And revolutionary. Words matter. And it's safe to say that Jensen has a level of expertise and understanding of AI that most in the general public and certainly almost everyone covering stocks on Wall Street does not. He didn't need to say this, by the way. He could have been talking about them having lots of potential as opposed to already world-class and revolutionary. He could have said, Tesla's making good progress with self-driving, even though XYZ companies well ahead, they're, they're catching up. But no, world-class, as in world-class and revolutionary. And he's right. I wonder what else he has to say. Every single one of them are going to be gigantic opportunities. And oh, stop the press. It turns out that he and I both agree. Also, gigantic opportunities. Turns out, Jensen gets it. The mind-blowing thing here, well, it's not news to me, is the fact that Tesla, which most people originally began investing in, at least long-term Tesla shareholders, for their dominance around electric vehicles, and then some energy-related stuff as a bonus. That investment thesis and horizon has now completely expanded to include, as Jensen points out, gigantic opportunities in self-driving and humanoid robots. Imagine 10 years ago, you're buying Tesla stock because they're going to dominate electric vehicles. And then like, oh, well, fuck, you know, this AI thing's probably going to be enormous. Let me try and find a company that's going to absolutely dominate self-driving vehicles. Next minute you realize, oh, shit, I already own that company. It's called Tesla. Didn't expect that. And then a few more years progress and you're thinking, shit, you know, humanoid robots, it's prime time now. Just like it was prime time for smartphones around 2008, the cost, the performance. Humanoid robots, it's prime time. Let me see if I can find a company that's going to absolutely dominate humanoid robots. And what do you fucking know? You already own that too. It's Tesla. Most people could not have seen this coming 10 years ago. Yet here we are. Owning Tesla stock, it's the gift that keeps on giving. It's like having call options that never expire on the greatest innovator of our time. But these are no longer just ideas. Self-driving, not just an idea. The human robots, not just an idea, not just potential. The foundation is already built. The pieces of the puzzle already in place. It is inevitable and obvious that Tesla is going to take a massive slice of the profits from self-driving vehicles, aka robotaxis and humanoid robots. We don't need to speculate anymore. We can see what both of these products are doing. Tesla releases countless videos of their humanoid robot. The progress is stunning. We can see what's happening with their vehicles. Millions of consumers on roads operating FSD supervised today. Tesla continues to double down on robotaxi in Austin in June, motherfuckers, aka this month, a matter of days away from the first commercial ride. How incredible it is that in my totally uninformed opinion, if you wanted to own the winner on electric vehicles and the winner in autonomy and the winner in humanoid robots, you only need a single stock. Now, Jensen probably doesn't want to offend many of his customers and say that Tesla's already won and they're going to absolutely dominate. But even so, completely honest in describing Tesla's technology with self-driving and the humanoid robots as world-class and the opportunities as gigantic. And, and um, uh, we're delighted, I'm delighted uh, to be working with him on that. And, and so I... I think the, um, uh, the, the, the Optimus opportunity is just right around the corner. It's very likely that human robots are, are going to be robots that we can deploy into uh, the world relatively easily. And uh, uh, this is the first robot that really has a chance to achieve the high volume and technology scale necessary to advance technology. And, and so I, I think this is likely to be the next multi-trillion dollar industry. And I'm very excited for him. No, you don't say Humanoid robots, a multi-trillion dollar industry. 
Imagine my shock. Call me uncreative, but I cannot think of a larger opportunity. Humanoid robots, intelligent humanoid robots that are equally, if not more dexterous than humans and eventually equally and then more and then much more intelligent than humans can obviously, in theory, do literally everything a human can do and then better. Never mind the fact that they can essentially work 24 hours a day, seven days a week and everything that's ever been created, products, services, technology, infrastructure, knowledge, everything so far, world GDP has been the result of intelligence and labor. Jensen actually hinted at this earlier in the clip, talking about humanoid robots being the first product that has the possibility, the technology, the potential to itself, keywords here, advance technology. If you really think about the meaning of what he said there, by the way, he's right. He's talking about intelligence here, intelligence that will exceed human intelligence. If you can scale intelligent labor globally by humanoid robots and said robots continue to become increasingly more intelligent and increasingly more capable over time, what could possibly represent a greater opportunity, never mind a bigger revolution than that? I can't think of one. And here's a short clip of Elon Musk sharing his current thoughts on superintelligence. I, mean, I think we're quite close to digital superintelligence. It may happen this year, and if it doesn't happen this year, next year for sure. The digital superintelligence defined as smarter than any human at anything. <laughs> Just consider that. In fact, forget the timeline. Maybe it takes twice as long, three times as long. We're still talking within half a decade or so. If this comes to pass, and inevitably it will, the real question is just how soon. Try to wrap your head around the implications of AI. That is, more intelligent than all humans. Everything humanity has currently achieved has been achieved with our extremely limited collective intellect. Think about all the inventions that would look like magic to somebody from a couple hundred years ago. All the innovations, the technology. Just imagine. Oh wait, you can't. It's not possible. What could arise with the advent of artificial superintelligence? Which, by the way, will be embodied in humanoid form. The world is not ready. Before I wrap up, just wanted to share a recent post from the official Tesla account on X. Currently, 3 million views. Quote, guys, what if the taxis were robots? Now, this to me sounds like a company. Very confident that they're on track for the first commercial fare in a Tesla robo taxi in Austin a few days from now. This is not the kind of stuff you'd be posting on social media if you've just found out, you know what, we're going to push things back by a month or two. Of course, anything could happen between now and the official first commercial fair. But this is a very positive sign. We're seeing videos of Tesla Robotaxis testing in Austin. They initially told us they first start in June. Then Elon Musk put out a potential date, the 22nd of June. We're literally days away. And unbelievably... Tesla's current market capitalization days before the Robotaxis begin is almost a perfectly neat round $1 trillion. Things that make you go, hmm. Want more content? Early access? A bunch of perks? Click the links in the pinned comment. AG1 is awesome. I've been taking it daily now for more than three years. It's a great way to fill in nutritional gaps. It's packed full of vitamins, minerals, and whole food source nutrients. Plus, has prebiotics, probiotics, and adaptogens to improve gut health, regularity, and help your body handle stress. I'm always looking for an edge to help me feel and perform my best, which is why I haven't missed a day of AG1 for more than three years. Just try it and see how you feel. Click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR and get yourself a free one-year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five travel packs.